Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalanda and this is Saving with Shalanda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on for the final um, installment of the how to play um, tutorials for the heat book, my new savings challenge book. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in. Keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Um, be sure to leave me some comments below. Um, be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, guys. So this is part four and we're excited about part four because we'll be playing like the casino style games today, guys. Okay. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Um, go inside our book and um, like normal, we're going to go ahead and pull our tracker out. Okay. And like I said, I think we're going to, you know, kind of try to stick to a budget of about $50 for today. Okay, we got, uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. So we're going to try to do about five games per, at least, you know, about five games as the budget per game. So like I said, we would color in our envelopes. I would just mark these off, okay? So that's 20, 40, and then I'll color in those. Those are the ones I would be coloring in today for to mark my $50 that I'll be playing with. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to sit off to the side, but I'm also going to just kind of like show you, you know, what, what I'm putting into each game and stuff. All right. So here we go. So let's get to these casino games back here. We've been having so much fun in this book. I don't know what to do with myself, guys. Okay. All right. So we left off here. So we are on bingo. All right. And so what you're going to do here, guys, is you're going to set an amount for your bingo cards. And I'm just going to do... um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, like that. And we're gonna uh, set a fifty cent um, buy-in to play, and that's per card. And so I'm going to um, start. We're gonna play two cards per hand. Okay. So I'm gonna do uh, two bingo cards, and I'm gonna play these two here. So this one is worth a um, dollar if I get a bingo on here, and this one is gonna be worth four dollars if my bingo is on this card. Okay. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to roll. Uh, a 12-sided die to determine um, what game we'll be playing today. So these are our bingo games. If you're familiar familiar with a call sheet at bingo, it gives you like the shape or the game you're going to be playing. And that's how you're going to get your bingo kind of thing. All right. That's what, that's what the goal is for your bingo card. All right. So let's roll. Let's see what game we're playing today. All right. We got a three, guys. So we, got, we actually got the coverall. Okay. So we're playing this one here. If, as you can see, it's a coverall. All the numbers. Okay. And then we're going to do another roll using our 10-sided uh, die. Let me grab it. And this number is going to represent our wild ball. So whatever um, we roll with any of the numbers that are in that number, we're going to mark them on our bingo card. And there'll be free spaces for us. So we got a 2 with our wild ball. So we're going to come to our bingo card and mark anything that, that has a 2 on the end. So this 12 has a 2. We're going to mark our free space. There's a number 2 there. A 32 is a free space. Okay, then we come down to this card here, mark our free space, 22, all right, and that's uh, 72 has a two on the end, and that's it for our wild ball, so now we can get started for, with our bingo game, we're ready, all right, so I'm going to load, go to my phone, and I'm going to load, I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to type in uh, bingo caller, and that's the instructions here um, in the uh, box here to go type in bingo caller in Google, okay? The first thing that's going to pop up is going to say, let's play bingo. And that's the one you want to click on, okay? And so it's going to give you a dice roller that looks something like this, okay? Bingo caller. And you're going to reset your board in case you played it one time, press confirm. And then we're going to start calling our bingo balls. Like I said, it's going to be like a lightning bingo. We're not going to take all that. We're going to not say rush through, but we're going to try to go as fast as we can. But we'll see what happens. We're going to say start games to get our first ball. You can see this 074. So I'm just going to call them out as I'm pressing the button. Okay, guys, so you know what I'm marking? 074. Go again. Next number, B13. Next number, N44, I25, see I23, G46, I20, G58, okay, we don't have one, G57. I-16, 
G55, O61, O68. Oop, cancel. I pressed <laughs> every. I said no. We don't want to reset. I27. <laughs> so we got our first bingo on that card, okay? But we need to cover all four. No, nothing. Next number, N36, G60, I22, G49, O70, G56, B14, N31, B3, I-29, G-47, a G-47, okay, B-5, I-30, G-54, G-50, B8, I26, okay, I19, N40, N45, B10, O63, I24, N43, B12, which is a wild ball, guys, anyway. B11, G51, G48, O73, B1, N32, O66, O64, B9, I28, B6, I21, O59, G59, G B7, N41, I18, N42, N38, O65, O71, N39, all right, I got a, this 40, I got 46 up there, all right, I ain't marked that one, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, let's go, so I guess I'll be checking to make sure I miss nothing, you know, you get close to bingo, 072, B2, okay, 062, now I don't need the board, G53, all the G's are gone that we need, B15, all the B's are done for us. N35, we got a 35. We just need a 75 to bingo on this card, okay? N33, I17, O69, N34, N37, we got two balls on this one as well. G52, uh, N75, bingo right here. <laughs> Bingo, bingo. Okay, so this is the card that I bingoed off on right there with my coverall. And so this card, the red card, is worth four dollars. So I'm going to say four dollars. Okay, so that's how it goes. And so that that takes us to our five dollar threshold. But like I said, it took me quite a few minutes to play bingo. So that's why I say you want to kind of like set these for those type of amounts like that, or even more, depending on what you want to do. But like I said, five dollars for bingo. But it was so worth it. Oh my god, I love that game. <laughs> Five dollars, guys. It was amazing. I loved every second of that. Give me one second, guys, because I need to grab um, a magic eraser because I forgot to clean out the dartboard, okay? Give me one second. I'll be right back. Back. Here I come. 
Real life, folks. Real life. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, I have forgotten to uh, clean the, the dart bingo, the dart board off. So, I'm going to go clean it. I did clean it off, did I? I did. <laughs> I was worried, guys. But like I said, you just take your magic eraser with it and then clean it up. Okay? I could have sworn I didn't clean this off. I love oh, what I got to clean this off. All right. So, here we go. <clears throat> so for darts guys we are going to to start a game you must pay I, like i said you need to pay an amount to play this game because it's, it's, it take a while we just gonna do a buy-in of three dollars to play guys and then we're going to save two dollars if we actually uh if we don't beat our score so that'll take us right at five like i said it's a long game guys all right so let's just do our buy-in three dollars okay and then we're going to get a 20-sided die here, okay? And then we're going to start taking our rolls, and we must take 20 more rolls, okay? Let's see what we're going to get. We got 11. 11 was the first one, guys. So you're going to go to 11 on the dark circle, one of the X's on there. 13. Do an X on the 13. 10. 6. Seventeen, six. Oh, that's a, that's a nine, guys. Nine is here. There we go. Seven. Fifteen. Twelve. Five. Ten. Fourteen. Five, eight, two. Okay, let me roll one more. Then we gotta do a count. See how many rolls we have taken so far. Twelve. Okay, let's let me count real quick. I'm gonna start at twelve. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We got sixteen. We got five more rolls. 17, that's five. So the five got three of them, so they're out. We got four rolls left. We got a 15. Three rolls. We got a three. Let's see, three. Two rolls. 11. Final roll. 16. Right here. Okay, so we have taken all our rolls for our dark game. So now we're going to bring our calculator over so we can start counting. Okay, getting our score. We usually start at the 20, then we go around. So we start at 13. However many you got in there, we got 13. We got 113. We got uh, one six. We got two in the 10, so that's going to be a 20. We're going to add. We got 215, so that's going to be 30. One two. 117. One three, we got one seven, one sixteen, one eight, we got two eleven, so that's to be twenty two, we got one fourteen, we got one nine, two twelve, so that'd be twenty four, and then we got three fives, which is gonna be fifteen. Okay, so that is our um, score. We got 206, so we'll add our score here. All right, and then we'll go to our next board. The idea is, our goal is to try to beat this, um, beat our score, okay? So here we go. So if we don't beat our 206, we're going to save um, an additional $2. So we'll see how it goes. So let's go, same situation. We'll move our calculator over. All right, 17. 14. 10, 15, where's 15, 15, there it is, all right, we got a 6, another 6, 
3, 10, 16, 1, 6, so the sixes is done. Got only get three sixes, three of any number. So roll again. Seven. Eighteen. Seventeen. Two. Twenty. Fourteen. Okay, I'll do one more and then count seven. Let's count real quick. We'll start here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We get four more. Okay, that is uh eight. Okay, we get three more rolls. Twelve. Two more rolls. Six is already gone. That's a four. Okay, then our final roll. Let's roll again. We got another 16. Okay, 16 is here. Okay, that's all of our rolls, guys. And so we'll bring our calculator back and add them up. All right, we'll start at the 20 again. So we got 20, one, 18, we got one, four, one. 13, we didn't get any 13. 6, we got 3 of them, so that's 18 points. 10, we got 2, so 20. 15, we got 1, 2. 17, we got 2 of those, so 34. 3, we got 7, 2, 7, so that's 14 points. 16, it's 2 of them, that's 32 points. 8, we got 14, is Two of them, 28 points. And then we got a 12 here. Uh, one of them is 12 points. So 229 is our final score, guys. Okay, and we look and we did indeed beat our score. So we don't have to pay anything, but that's how we do it, guys. And we, we're gonna cash up $3 for that game. Like I said, it's a lengthy one as well. So like I said, you probably only wanna pay it one, play it one time at a time and then you clean your board off of course you can use a dry erase mark if you want to go right back into it but i just play it like that then we're gonna on your dart here you're gonna write a three that's how much you cash stuff okay you write it on top if you want to see it better okay like that three dollars and like i said back to our tracker we're gonna put a uh, three dollars into dice and darts all right so on to casino games all right so um We'll clean off our jackpot here a little bit. All right, let me get started. So what you're gonna do here is, we're going to, let's see. We're gonna say $1 for, let's see, odd jackpots and two for even jackpots, guys. Cause we, like I said, we're gonna be doing $5 budgets, okay? But we could put the actual amount up there though. But we know we're saving, guys, okay? Let's see. So five, we just put five as the jackpot, but we're gonna actually save a dollar for that, guys, okay? Because we're doing even odd. And then we're gonna take three dice and we're gonna roll to get a three of a kind, okay? We're gonna go for four, so we got two of them, okay? We get two more rolls to try to get hit the jackpot. One, two, we didn't get it, we add our six, then we're gonna cash up that amount. So you either say five dollars or you're gonna do, we're gonna do one dollar for even or odd. So let's go ahead and set that up for uh, high income as well. So one dollar for me. All right, let's go again. We'll roll one dice for our jackpot, or you can roll any. Um, if you want bigger amounts for your jackpot, do that. With other dice, but we're just gonna do one through six, guys. Okay, I'm doing one through six. So six dollars. So it's gonna be an even jackpot for us. So, so it's gonna be two dollars at most. Okay, but um, six dollars for this person. They don't get it. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see what we want to go for. We didn't get anything really. Let, let's try twos, I guess, guys. Let's try twos. You got to pick what you want to go for. <laughs> we didn't get anything. Can we get two twos? Nope. <laughs> we got three four. So we got to pay the jackpot at $2. And then $6 for high income. Okay. Let's go again. Let's roll for our, our mount. We got a six. So that's another even jackpot, guys. So another $6. Okay, so let's roll. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go for sixes. Let's try sixes. Okay, can we get a jackpot, guys? 
Nope, two. Nope, we ain't getting nothing, y'all. Okay. We ain't getting lucky tonight. All right. So that's going to be, we didn't get our jackpot, so that's another $2 for us, the cash stuff. All right. Y'all saw I got it yesterday. I ain't getting it. That, we going to try it one more time. Y'all see if I can actually win one. All right, we got three. It's going to be our jackpot, so it'll be even or odd for me. Okay, so only a dollar, but let's see what we can do, y'all. Come on. Can we get a jackpot? It's some. Let's try these fours. Let's go to switch. Oh, we got, we got to say it for a little switch. <laughs> All right. We got almost, almost doesn't count though. Okay, four, four, two. So we owe a dollar. And then uh, high income is going to pay $3. Okay, so let's add that up and see what our amounts are. Okay. So for low income, we are cashed up in two, four, five, six. So we're going to put that onto our tracker for jackpot. Okay, and then high income is going to do, you can even look up here, it should be 12, 12, 4, 12 15, 20. $20? Yeah, it was 20. <laughs> so 5, 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. So $20 for high income, guys, okay? But that's how jackpot goes. And like I said, just imagine you use the slot machine. That $20 will be gone in two minutes. And then, but you got it. It's still yours. It's still yours. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Let me clean this off a little bit here. All right. So we're going to use, um, play this with um, a dry erase marker, guys. Okay. Um, give me one second on my top. Okay. I'm going to grab a dry erase marker. All right. So we are going to, um, let's see. We're going to save, let's save a, a dollar. Uh, do we want a dollar for each incorrect guess, guys? We only got five. Let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll save a dollar. We try to play both ways. Because, like I said, our budget is only $5 today. So, let's see. Hopefully, it don't go too bad. So, let's play it both ways, okay, with cards and with dice. We're going to uh, roll our dice for the collar box. Okay, six. Okay, so we already know that's going to be lower. That should be great. Let's roll our dice. We're going to put lower. Let's see what we get, guys. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's going to be lower. Roll again if it's the same thing. So, lower. Okay, so the next number we're calling on three. I'm going to say higher than three. Okay. It's six, so that was correct. We're going to say lower than six, okay? Let's see. It is, and then we're going to say higher than two. Higher than two. Okay. It's lower. It's one, so we got that incorrect, so we need to pay a dollar for our missed guess, okay? So that's one. Let's do that one more time. All right, we got a five. One second, guys. Okay, so five is in a collar box. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say lower than five, guys. Lower than five. So let's roll our dice. That's correct. Four. I'm gonna say higher than four. Higher than four for the next guess. That's incorrect. Uh, three. I'm gonna say let's go let's go higher than three. Higher. It's higher, correct. And then let's go lower than six. Okay. It is. Okay. So we only had one incorrect guess that round. So another dollar. Okay. Um, let's let's go one more. Then we can make one more out of here. Okay. Let's roll for the collar box. Okay. Four. Okay. I'ma say, um, hmm. I'ma say lower than four, guys. I'ma say lower. It's four on the money. Roll again. Lower than four. I was higher, so I got that incorrect. I'm going to say lower than five. Lower than five. Um, it's three. That's correct. I'm going to say higher than three. It's two, so that's incorrect. And then I'm going to say higher than two. All right. Let's see. It's higher. So we missed two that round, so we're going to save two dollars, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and uh, put our cards in as well. We try it the card way. All right. All 
All right, so King is our caller card, okay? I'm going to say lower than um, King, okay, for the first one. Eight, okay, that's correct. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say lower than eight, the next one. Okay, I got it. I'm going to say higher than seven. Uh, it's a queen, got it correct. I'm going to say lower than queen. I got it, okay? So I don't have to pay anything that round, which is perfect because we like getting free stuff, okay? Let's go again. Ace. Ace is a high card, okay? So it's gonna, I'm going to say lower automatically, okay? Three. I'm going to say higher than three is the next card. King. Lower. The king. We got the same thing. Lower, okay? Higher than two is... Next one, correct. Okay, so we don't have to pay anything there either. We just we stay winning, y'all. Let's do one more. But that I like playing. I like games we can play for fun, though, guys. Okay, two. I'm just gonna call our box, guys. I'm gonna definitely say higher than two. We got a ten. Okay, it's correct. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say lower than ten is the next guess. Correct. Higher than five. Yeah, it's lower. So we got the incorrect. I'm gonna say higher than three, which it is. I don't know, but it's there. Okay, so we only missed one that round. So there we go. So we'll say one dollar, and that is how the cookie crumbles on um high low. Okay, and we have our five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. That's going towards high low. Okay. There we go. All right. Chipping away the debt. Like I said, if you don't got debt, you know just. Cross debt out, okay? <laughs> but like I said, it's a saving challenge intended towards debt if you want to, okay? Or put it towards anything, okay? So like I said, we're gonna roll a, a 12 sided die here and then we're gonna use our colored die for our chip. This is like our chip, okay? Or you can use your spinning wheel for a color. Let me grab that as well. I thought I got some of the stuff on the table. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we got, like I said, we're we gonna leave it at $1 for I, $2 for even, guys, I think. Or do I want to go 50 cent and a dollar? Let's do 50 cent and a dollar for this one. 50 cent for odd chips and a um, dollar for even chips. Okay. Okay, we got purple two. Okay, so we come to the purple stack. We're going to count from the bottom up. One, two. Eliminate chip number two. That's an even chip. Two, um, one dollar. Okay, roll again. We got yellow chip number one. Okay, bottom, then we'll um, do 50 cent. Go well, again, red chip number four. So you count one, two, three, four. Like I said, you can also color these in if you want to, to finish coloring them in or whatever. That's a dollar though. Okay. Yellow four. One, two, three, four. Another dollar chip. Let's go ahead and um, spin for our chip this time. Spin for our color chip. We got a blue and seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be 50 cent for I. Okay. Let's spin again. We got a green chip. Let's cut. Uh, we got number 11. It's another 50 cent. And so that's 12, so 11 is right under 12, okay? Spin one more time. We like spinning around here, y'all. We love wheels. Okay, green chip again. And that time we got number eight. Let me count from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and we save a dollar for even, okay? So I think we made our budget, guys. Let's do one more. They really cleared out. All right, uh, orange three, one, two, three. There we go. And that'll be 50 cent for orange, for I, okay? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six dollars going in for chipping away the debt. So six bucks into our tracker. All right, the next game is um, gonna be Texas Hold'em, guys, okay? And so, like I said, I had to learn how to play this game for this book, guys, okay? Like, I know I'll play some game job, but Jesus. 
So like I said, um, it's probably not, it's gonna be as good as I can get. I ain't gonna say I'm, I'm not gonna call it like Texas Hold'em for dummies or anything like that, guys, but that's what we gonna act like it is, okay? Cause like we're the least, you know, intelligent consumers when it comes to cards, guys, as far as, far as this goes. <laughs> so don't try to call me out on, on how I'm playing this, okay? Like I said, I watched several YouTube videos to try to understand how I can make this into a savings challenge. So we're going to play it the way that I've made it, okay? <laughs> so don't come for me in these comments, okay? But here we go. We're going to save, let's see. If we win the hand, we're going to save. Because I feel like we played something, guys. We should, we should save something just for playing. Let's see. Let's just say we'll say fifty. We'll say fifty cent, just kind of like for playing. And then if the dealer wins, we'll do um, a dollar. Okay. And then uh, for eye rolls, you want to do a roll and save, guys. You can do uh, fifty cent for eye rolls and a dollar for even rolls if you're intimidated by cards. Okay. <laughs> just make it a roll and save. All right. So here we go. All right. So what I learned online was. That I'm gonna deal a hand, guys. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna deal. This is the dealer's hand. This is my hand. Okay, I'm gonna put his stuff over there. Off the, so his stuff is there. Mine is mine. Okay, I'm gonna deal three community cards, guys. Here. Okay. Now I'm going to flip these over, and then I'm gonna take a look at what I have. Okay, to see what can go with that. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So. Whatever I got in my hand plus what's up there. So all I see right now is a pair of fives, okay? So I have a five and plus I can use this five here. So I have a pair of fives, okay? So that's my hand right now, okay? I don't know what he has, but that's what I got, okay? <laughs> so now we're going to, we're going to this one card and then we're going to draw another community card, okay? That queen really doesn't help us out, really, okay? So we still have a pair of fives, technically, okay? So that's our, one, that's our best hand right now, okay? So we're gonna do another discard, and then we're gonna draw the fifth community card, okay? So that's a little bit better now, okay? So now we have, since we drew that seven there for the community, we now have two pairs. We have this that these fives, okay? And then the sevens we can use. So we have two pairs, so that is our best hand, okay? So that's, a, that's what we're going with. Pair of fives, pair of sevens. Now we're gonna look at the dealer hand, see what he got, okay? So of course, <laughs> He has, he has a queen, so he can use that, and he has a pair of fives. So his hand is going to be my hand because he has a high queen pair, okay? So I had a pair of fives and a pair of sevens, but he has a pair of queens and a pair of fives. So he is victorious, and he wins his hand, okay? And so I'm going to save a dollar because the, the dealer beat me, okay? For my blackjack hand. And then I'm also going to um, color my chip um, a black. I think as the, if the dealer wins, color the chip black. Okay, if you win, you color it red, okay? Or you can color the inside. I don't know if I like that color all the way in like that. Maybe I might just color the inside so we have like the outside. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, a very aesthetic person. I don't like all that black like that. I might just color the inside of the chip, okay? So that's that. So that's round one. We'll do it again, guys. Because I know y'all just, you know, like, what's what she doing? This is what I learned, guys, from, uh, from research and development from my games, guys. All right. But like I said, here, up here is your chart for winning um, hands and things, guys. Okay. So you know how to play a little bit. But you'll figure it out, all right? But here we go. Okay. So we're going to do the dealer. Then we're going to get our three community cards up here. Okay. Flip these over. Oh, we got a pair up there already, so we're doing good. All right. Ooh, ooh, y'all see that? I got a hand. <laughs> so I got a jack, and it's two here. So I get to use those jacks, so that means I already have three pairs. Uh, a three of a kind, guys, right? Three, three of a kind. That's what I have so far, okay? So that's my hand. All right. So we're going to disc a card. And we're going to put another community card up there. Okay, so we got an A. So like I said, that really doesn't change anything for me. I'm still here with um, a Jack. But it'd be nice if I can get that 7. If my next card up there would be a 7 or something. So I can get a full house. But we'll see what happens, okay? So we're going to diss another card. And then we're going to draw a final community card. 
and it didn't do it for us guys what we wanted okay so we we gonna roll with our three of a kind and jacks as our high, our best hand okay so that's what we got three of a kind okay and so we gonna see what he got okay can he do, did he do anything yeah he ain't want none he ain't getting nothing to go with that stuff nothing okay so we won guys okay <laughs> so he didn't have anything to go with what we had okay so basically, so we won, okay? So we're gonna, mark, we're gonna color in our casino chip red, and we're gonna just say $50, 50 cent, guys, okay? Cause we got $5 budget, and it's, we're playing for low amounts, but we, you know, we, we can afford it. All right, so with the 50 cent there, okay? Let's do let's do a couple more hands. I'm gonna put like maybe like two or two or three dollars in regular hands, and then we'll do a rolling save for the other one, so we can do it both ways, okay? So here we go. I'm just trying to give you give y'all some time to see how to how I'm coming up with these ideas for blackjack, guys. I, I mean, Texas Hold'em, okay? So I can get into this game, all right? <laughs> but I actually like it, guys. Okay. Here we go. I might can go to the casino and do something. I think, okay. So that's my hand, and that's what's down there. So right now, all I'm seeing is a pair of threes. Okay. I can use that and that. Okay. So I got a pair. So that's what I'm working with. Okay. So we're gonna, like I said, do our discard, and we're gonna add another card to the community to the community cards. Okay. And again, we still don't have anything, anything you know, but that pair of threes. Okay. And we'll do our final card and discard. There we go. Discard and stuff. And here we go. We are still at a pair of threes. Okay. So. We gonna see what he can do, okay, as our best hand. Okay, this is what he has, okay. And so, he doesn't have anything. And so, we are going to run away with, with winning with, with the pair, okay? Because <laughs> he don't got nothing. <laughs> so, he has nothing, guys, nothing, okay? So, perfect, okay? But like I said, we're going to pay 50 cent for playing, and we're going to color in a chip that we won, Okay? Cause we like when we win here, okay? We, we love winning. All right, so y'all get it, y'all into it, all right? And then let, let's go ahead and do some rolling saves, guys. Cause like I said, the video getting long. How many more games we got? <laughs> we got a couple more games, y'all. But like I said, I'm, I like this game. I'm getting used to it a little bit more, but y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. But we'll, we'll, we'll close it out with a couple rolling saves for y'all folks that like rolling saves, okay? So we don't even an eye roll. So seven is odd. That'd be 50 cent. We'll color it red. Odd. Odd. Hmm. More all these odds, guys. Pull again, even, so that'd be one dollar. Color it black. All right, and let's go one more. Ah, right, okay, that'd be 50 cent. All right, perfect, that should be five dollars in total. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. And then we'll put five dollars into our tracker for Texas Hold'em. All right. Next game is uh, Beat the Dealer. Okay. All right. Beat the Dealer is going to be. Uh... Y'all know I play Beat the Dealer because we play it all the time. But this is my favorite, one of my favorite games, guys. So let's say if we bust, we're gonna save one dollar, guys. Here. And if, if the dealer beat, beat you, we're going to save, uh, don't want to do 50 cents or a dollar for bus. Uh, that means we're going to do a couple hands, guys. Let's see. We're we, we going to do $2, guys. We ain't, we ain't no punks, okay? We ain't no punks around here. We'll see what happens. I might change it. Because <laughs> this is my favorite game, guys, okay? So we deal ourselves a hand. 12, we're going to hit ourselves. We out, that's a bus, that's a dollar. That was quick, y'all, quick. <laughs> so a dollar, okay. Next hand. 
15. Uh, uh, I don't know if I want to. I'm going to stay, guys. I'm going to stay. Let's roll for it. Roll for our scratch. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The dealer needs 15 or higher to beat us. And he did. He got a 21. Okay. So we're going to save $2. All right. We'll go one more time. 11. Okay. Hit ourselves. We got 20. We're going to stay. We'll roll again. The dealer needs a 20 or higher to beat us. Okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go here. He has a 14, so he did not beat us, so we win, so we don't have to pay anything, all right? We'll do one more hand, okay? 17, we're gonna go ahead and um, stay there, hold there, okay? The dealer needs a um, 17 or higher to beat us, okay? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll scratch here, 17 or higher is required. And he got us, he got 18, guys, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and save $2. Okay, so that is Beat the Dealer, guys. And like I said, you set it for the amount that you want to play and how how, off, how long you want to play, guys, okay? So $5 is going in for Beat the Dealer. So we did three turns, three hands, basically, okay? So $5. Getting cash stuff. And then we'll come back to the back of the book. This is Full House. And like I said, we're going to get our deck of cards. And for this game, like I said, it's like a color and save, all right? And so we're going to be coloring like the windows in those houses and things like that. And we're going to, let's see. You can set an amount for your icons, whatever you want them to be and stuff. You can do a, you can do $1 if the suit is black or $2 if it's just red. Or you can do like one, two, three, four based on what you want to do, guys. Um, let's see. Do I want to do one, two, three, four? I'll do one, two, three, four. I'll try it. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> Hopefully it works out in our favor, guys, okay? Like I said, you can switch between high and low income. We'll do, do whatever works for you guys, all right? So here we go. We're going to uh, start by pulling five cards, guys. And the goal is to build ourselves a hands. We need a, th a three of a kind and a pair. So we're doing pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead. We need either four or eight to finish our full house off. There's our four. So we're going to discard our eight card. And then the four is the amount number that we pulled to get our four of a kind. I mean, to make our full house. So we'll come up here and we're going to say $4 for um, the heart, okay? Or we're going to say $2 for red suits, guys. And I think I want to I wanna renege and do <laughs> and do $2 because that was, that was super quick. We're going to do $2, y'all, so we can do more houses, all right? Because that was quick. So we color a house, a um, window on a red, on a heart house, okay, like that. We're going to do ourselves another hand, okay? I didn't show for these cards at all, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we want to build a hand, three of a kind and a pair. Okay, so here's our hand right here. And we'll see what we can probably get to go with it. Uh, we'll get rid of this. See what else we can get. Queen. Mm, I ain't getting none, y'all. Set us up. Oh. <laughs> There's a 10. So we go we do threes and tens, maybe. Unless something else better come along. Let's see. Three or ten. Okay, discard that. Like I said, we got our full house, but we went off on the 10, which is the heart was the card we drew. So like I said, red suits are $2. So we'll save an additional $2. And then again, we'll color in another um, window on the heart house. Like that, okay. And then we'll do one more, guys, and then that'll be it for this one. So we can get our $5 into our game.
Okay, God shows five cards. There we go. All right, this is our hand. All right, let's see what we're gonna go for. Uh, got our jack, so we still need one of those cards to get up here. There's a five, okay. So that we got another heart that got us a full house, okay. So another two dollars, and only the heart house has gotten some love, guys. The house. <laughs> The hearts are doing it, doing the thing, all right? So that's it, guys. So that's how you play full house. Like I said, you set your amounts for your icons or you do like the um, suits or whatever. Then you fill in on the, house, the windows on the house, okay? So just like that to um, for your color and save, all right? And then our final game is SWS Book Club. And like I said, this is the save for your next book, okay? <laughs> so we're just going to save $1 for odd rolls and we're going to save $2 for even rolls. And then like I said, we'll use our color dice to mark what book we're going to put that one or two in, guys, for even or odd, okay? So let's let's roll, uh, let's roll two dice in one of these. All right. Red odd. The red book odd. So that, oh, we gotta put our, I forgot the track. Let's put $6 for a full house. Ooh, beat the deal up and got messed up. We had $5 to beat the deal up, I think, guys. <laughs> got messy. <laughs> All right, so we got $1 so far. Okay, let's roll again. We got yellow and even, so that's $2. And then we write a number two in our yellow book. All right. And then we'll roll them. Oh, let's spin for our last time just in case we get a two, guys, for our color. We got orange. Odd. Okay. Orange odd. So one. So another dollar. Okay. We want to do one more? One more. Let's just let's just spin both. Spin for the color and spin for the number. We'll get this on the line. Let's go again. All right, orange, 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 orange odd, orange and five, so odd on an orange book, so one dollar. Okay, so that is saving with Shalana Book Club, and that is getting uh, is that it five dollars. Oh, we have more than that, five dollars, guys, for uh, saving with Shalana Book Club. Okay, so we'll put add that onto our totals here. Okay, it got messy. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, let's bring our calculator over, see how much we spent today in games, okay? We started with bingo, $5. Dice and darts got $3. Jackpot got $6. High low, 5 Chipping away the deck got 6 Texas Hold'em got 5 Beat the Dealer got 5 Full House got 6 And Book Club got 5 So we had uh, $46 that we cashed up today in our games, and we played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 games. Divide 46 divided by 46 divided by 9. Another $5 average per game, okay? $5.11. So that's what we did, guys. And we had so much fun. And what, 48 minutes later, okay? Well, tell me <laughs> what games you plan, saving challenges you plan that you, um, with $50, $46, and you've been on, on here for playing games for 48 minutes. I'm, I'll wait. I'm waiting. Tell me. Get in the comments. Let me know who else um, got you playing games like this and actually having fun. All right? <laughs> I'll wait. All right. Like I said, I'm, I'm done. Okay? That, that is our book, guys. The back cover, we made it front to back, playing the games four videos later. You never seen a premiere like that, a book launch like that, have you? Five videos, one one complete flip through and four um how to play videos, guys. Nope. Only on Saving with Shalanda. All right. So, um, cause like I said, my games got um got dip. <laughs> They, they, they require a lot, guys, okay? A lot of work went into these games to make sure that you were having fun. A lot of research and development went into these games, okay? <laughs> to ensure you were having a good time. But I am done here. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Please um, leave me some comments below. Let me know what your favorite game that I played was today, guys. What what are you feeling about the book? What are your thoughts? Give, give, it, give it to me in these comments so I can read it. I'm reading each and every comment, guys, okay? Um, what was I going to say? Watch the ads after this video and share my video.
All right, let the people know where this book at. The hottest saving challenges in the town that y'all in the bunch <laughs> online, okay? Y'all just send them a link to my shop, guys. Send them a link to my shop and to my YouTube channel. Tell them to come subscribe. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by March, by my birthday, okay? So y'all tell y'all friends, send them a link to tell them to, to subscribe <laughs> so we can get to 2,000 subscribers for another giveaway, all right? All right, guys, I am done here. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.